وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول Just to wrap up inshallah ta'ala I want to speak about the etiquettes and the manners for uh, Eid the etiquette and the manners for Eid Insha'Allah Ta'ala, I'm going to mention six things that I, bi'idhni lahi al-kareem, believe that every one of us needs to come with. Six things for Eid, Insha'Allah Ta'ala. Six manners and etiquettes that we need to come with for Eid, Insha'Allah Ta'ala. The first one, Insha'Allah Ta'ala, is al-ightisal qabla khuruj ila salah. Before we go to the prayer, before we go to the prayer, we shower. This is based on the hadith that Imam Malik narrated in his muatta. Kana Abdullah ibn Umar. رضي الله تعالى عنهما يغتسل قبل قبل أن يغدو إلى المصلى. The day of Eid al-Fitr, عبد الله بن عمر he would shower before he would go for the Eid al-Fitr. The second thing that I inshallah تعالى want us to come with and to establish, which is from the etiquette of the Eid, is الأكل قبل الخروج. Eat before you go out, and that is specific for Eid al-Fitr, which is this Eid inshallah تعالى. As for Eid al-Adha, it is بعد الصلاة, after the prayer. لكن Eid al-Fitri is before the prayer. And Eid al-Adha is after the prayer. And this is based upon the hadith of Imam Bukhari narrated in his Sahih on the authority of Anas ibn Malik رضي الله تعالى عنه which he said, كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم was one لا يغدو يوم الفطر حتى يأكل تمرات. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would never go out for Eid al-Fitri unless he ate some dates And the Messenger would eat it in odd numbers. He would eat it in odd numbers. So you eat before you go to Eid al-Fitri and you also and you also have it in odd numbers insha'Allah ta'ala. Number three, number three is at takbir yawm al-Eid. You do the takbir on the day of Eid. Uh, and this is based on the ayah Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala he says wali tukmilu al-iddata wali tukabbiru Allah ala ma hadakum wa la'allakum tashkurun that you show uh, and you proclaim uh, the takbir you say it when the uh, idda is finished the timing is finished uh, so you wali tak wali tukbir wali tukabbiru Allah wali tukabbiru Allah you, you say the takbir based on that ayah also is it said loudly or does a person say it with a very low volume. No, the person says it very loud. And this is based upon the question Al-Walid ibn Muslim. He said, سألت الأوزاعية I asked Al-Awza'i وَمَالِكُ بْنُ أَنَسْ And I asked Imam Malik عَنْ إِظْهَارِ التَّكْبِيرِ فِي الْعِدَيْنِ Should the person say the Idain very loud? Should he say it with a very high volume? And he said, نَعَمْ Both of them said, قَالَ نَعَمْ Both of them, they said yes. And they said, Abdullah ibn Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه um, رضي الله تعالى عنهما عبد الله بن عمر may Allah be pleased with him and his father he would raise his voice uh, on the Eid al-Fitri يظهر في يوم Eid al-Fitri he would come out and he would say hi and loud رضي الله تعالى عنهما حتى يخرج الإمام he would do this until the Imam would come back uh, come out he would do this until the Imam would come out number four the fourth thing that inshallah تعالى that I want us to be إذن الله come with is التهنئة Tahni'ah means what? We greet one another. Greeting one another is a sunnah that needs to be followed. And this is based upon uh, Jubayr ibn Nufayrin. He said, Kana ashabu Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The companions of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They were ones. Ashabu Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They were ones. Yawmul Eidaini. Idhal taqaw yawmul Eidaini. If they met each other on the day of Eid. The companions. If they met each other on the day of Eid. بعضهم بعضا. If they met one another, they would say to each other, تقبل منا ومنكم. It's been accepted from us. Our fasting, our righteous deeds has been accepted from us. And Ibn Ibn Hajar رحمه الله and Ibn Hajar he graded this to be حسن. And Imam Ibn Hajar he said, إسناده حسن. Its chain of narration is حسن. أما حديث حسن. Number five is التجمل. It is to beautify yourself. And this is based upon the hadith of Imam Ibn Khuzayma narrated in his Sahih on the authority of Jabir radiallahu ta'ala radiallahu ta'ala anhumah. May Allah be pleased with Jabir and his father. 
He said, كَانَ لِلنَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمَ It was for the Messenger. The Messenger used to have a jubba. He had a garment, alayhi salatu wasalam, يَلْبِسُهَا لِلْعِيدَيْنِ وَيَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ He would only wear it on the Eidain. The Messenger would wear it specifically on the Eidain. And he would wear it on Fridays, special occasions. It was a garment that the Messenger had, and he would wear it on special occasions. While I'm at this point, my beloved brothers and sisters, I just want to say that beautification for the women when they go out, it's not permissible. With the overwhelming majority of evidences that have come, that this would lead to fitna. So the women should avoid and stay away from beautifying themselves on this particular moment when they are out, when they are outside. So again, the women should not beautify themselves on Eid when they go out. The beautification should be done inside the household and places where there are no there are no uh, men around. Number six is الذهاب إلى الصلاة من طريق والعودة من آخر. The sixth and final one is that the path in which you take. The path in which you take to go to the Eid shouldn't be the path that you take when you come back from it. Meaning take two different roads, I mean two different routes and routes, take two different routes uh, uh, when you go to the uh, Musallah and the place of prayer. So if, you go, if it's a masjid, if it's an open land, then the road that you take, don't take that road when you're coming back. Don't take that same road. And the scholars, they mention the evidence for that is the hadith of Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, may Allah be pleased with him and his father. Al-Imam al-Bukhari narrated in his Sahih that he said كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم that the messenger was one إذا كان يوم عيد if it was a عيد خالف الطريق the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم he would go against the path he would take another route the scholars they said what's the wisdom why would he do that the scholars they stated many 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 wisdoms why the messenger would do that from the wisdoms that they mentioned was he wanted Salawatullah Wasallam alayhi the earth to intercede for him the day of judgment. The earth to speak on your behalf. The second is um, for the people uh, to see uh, the number of Muslims. If you take one, if the Muslims all take one road or they or a lot of them take one road and they don't take the other road, the messenger wanted the companions to be seen. He wanted the numbers to be seen. Uh, so Try to follow those six points الكريم, for this Eid, inshaAllah ta'ala. I hope every single one of you enjoys yourselves. And I ask Allah Azza wa Jalla that the last remaining days of Ramadan, He accepts it from us subhanahu wa ta'ala and He gives us the effort and the hard work to finish it off. وَخِتَامُهُ misk. To be honest, it really matters what we do on our last days on Eid, on Ramadan, our last days of Ramadan. Anything I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaytan and Allah and his messenger are free from it subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk